Hello crafty friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to create this card for you, a clean and simple All My Love card. So to start this card I took a panel of smooth white cardstock and I stamped three painty stripes in the top left hand corner. Now I could have used a paintbrush and painted some stripes on but I wanted to make my stripes identical to one another in all but colour. So the first colour I used was Pink Champagne. This is from the Catherine Pooler collection of inks and I stamped it three times. This is a silicon stamp. They don't always take dye inks brilliantly first time round so by Stamping it three times, I can get a lovely smooth finish. The next colour I used was apricot, and again, I stamped that three times. For my third colour, I used shea butter, so I'm sticking with warm colours for this card. You could obviously do a cooler colour card if you wished with blues and greens maybe purples to make sure my stamps were equally spaced i shuffled my panel up my stamp positioner by two centimeters each time the amount you shuffle it up each time will obviously depend on the size of the stamp you're using and the size of the gap you want between them for my sentiment, I chose this All My Love stamp and stamped it in black to make it really pop in the bottom right corner there. So I'm going for a bit of a diagonal design as well. And with a sentiment like All My Love, you can really use this card for any occasion because you can write the occasion itself, whether it's a birthday or a thinking of you or a thank you card, you can write that on the inside of the card. Once all my inks were nice and dry, I used some high tack glue to glue my panel to the front of a four by six inch card blank. Because the panel itself was finished, all I needed to do was to create a focal point to pop on top of my painty stripes. And for my focal point, I chose a butterfly. So I die cut this butterfly out of smooth white cardstock. I then used the colors that I'd used on the stripes to add color through the relevant stencils. So my main color is yellow. I added the shea butter through the large stencil aperture. And then I added a bit of the detail with the pink champagne. And finally, I added a tiny little blush of apricot around the body area. I don't think this showed up particularly, but I did it anyway. <laughs> you never know until you try. Next, I used the stamp that goes with these stencils and dies and stamped the image in black. So I'm bringing some of the black that's in the sentiment up to the focal point. And this also helps the butterfly to stand out against the painty stripes. I used my Alter New stamp wheel for this process because it has a grip mat in it. So I can die cut my butterfly, stick it on the grip mat, line up my stencils and my stamp and know that everything is going to stay where I put it and not shift around. I wanted to give my butterfly some leaves to sit on, so I used some matcha green ink, coloured a piece of smooth white cardstock and then die cut out some leaves. I also wanted to introduce some gold because you know how much I love my bling on my cards. I didn't want too much gold, so I just cut some whimsical circles out of gold foil cardstock. And these are going to give my butterfly and leave something to sit on. 
It took me a few moments to figure out how I wanted my butterfly to sit on my leaves, but once I'd figured that out, I put glue on the back of my butterfly and then pressed that down onto the leaves so that everything stuck where I wanted it to. To add my gold circles, I spread some of my high tack glue on my glass mat and then dipped the circles in it and then stuck them on the front of my card, overlapping them so that plenty of gold was visible behind the leaves and the butterfly. After that, all that remained was to stick my butterfly and leaves on top of my gold circles and I decided to add some Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to the body of the butterfly to give it a bit of glossy dimension. These drops come out of the bottle quite milky but they do dry completely clear so my butterfly has a black glossy dimensional body. And that's it, that's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or comments, do leave them below. And I hope to see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.